Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Clark, and the title of my chapter is Using Personal Construct Theory and Techniques to Facilitate Change. The main theme of this chapter is raising awareness and improving insights and planning abilities in relation to the problems faced by people of colour, both as individuals and within institutions. Given that black males are frequently overrepresented in terms of exclusions, it's imperative that it can, we can develop a methodology for working with those who are struggling to cope within the education system. A poor education leads to poor life chances. Here I present a personal construct psychology derived approach, which offers a way through the confusions that cloud our perceptions and often leads us to lacking the energy and ability to loosen our thinking and move in the direction of change. It's essential to recognise the role played by personal perceptions and emotions in the way in which we construe problems. Developing an ability to step outside the constraints of the thinking which ensnares us and prevents insightful and creative experimentation is the theme of this chapter. In this models, individuals are viewed as being in control of their behaviours, their views and attitudes in response to events, as opposed to being passive victims of such things as the past, the culture, the race or personality. As Kelly says, no one needs to paint themselves into a corner. No one needs to be completely hemmed in by their circumstances. No one needs to be a victim of his biography. There's always an alternative. It's a positive theory that believes there's always a possibility of change through the generation and adoption of personally relevant alternatives. The purpose of PCP intervention is to ensure that the person has access to the, a full range of alternatives and that they make informed choices in order to facilitate a re reconstruction of the world. The person's theories are central in this process. If attempts are made to force a student to change from without, or the student has no desire to change, change, if anything, will be, if any, will be superficial. I also introduce self-organised learning, which is a conversational science dedicated to the elaboration of meaning and to promoting change. It's my opinion that the processes underlying SOL dovetail nicely with theory and techniques derived from personal construct psychology and the wider social constructivist approach. The problem of meaning is central to educational change. There's a need to understand the what and the how of change. Using self-organised learning, meaning can be accomplished in relation to both of these aspects. The aim of personal construct psychology and of this chapter, put as its most pious, is to facilitate liberation through understanding. By making ourselves aware of our thinking, both at the individual and institutional level, we're better able to pursue the goals that are intrinsically meaningful to us.